I think there's a lot of different um, debates going on in Australia at the moment, but I think renewable gas is a here and now fuel. We've got producers ready to produce it, we've got gas infrastructure owners ready to deliver it to customers. It's how do we make it happen, how do we take people on the journey. To get there faster, we have to work together. I think that there is a general lack of understanding about the potential for renewable gas and it has significant potential, be it biomethane or renewable hydrogen. Gas as an energy source plays a really important role. It has certain characteristics about its storage, about its high temperature that makes it incredibly important. At the moment, you know, there, there really is only one solution potentially being talked about, uh, being renewable electricity, and we need lots of solutions to achieve decarbonisation. In the very short term, people look at electricity because they're familiar with solar panels and wind farms and, and, and large PV systems. Um, they're probably not so familiar with the work the gas industry is doing to decarbonise and the commitment the gas industry has to put renewable, sustainable gas into their pipeline systems and distribution systems and that they can do that. The gas industry itself, the agriculture, transport, biomethane and renewable hydrogen has a role to play in helping decarbonise those sectors. Now it can't do all of it, but it has a very important role to make sure it abates in very hard to abate areas. As a large uh, building product manufacturer, a lot of our emissions are related to the combustion of natural gas. Unlike renewable electricity, where, where there's lots of options available to us, uh, there's very limited options at the moment that would allow us to decarbonise our gas consumption. So renewable gas is a pathway for us to be able to decarbonise into the future. The fuel vector that is bioenergy is clearly both in its infancy in Australia, it has enormous potential, both as a replacement for natural gas and the kind of fuel that will be critical and highly valued in the 21st century. So we've got this sort of infant industry producing something which won't be able to replace natural gas, but will perform roles that no other fuel can and will be really valued this, as we transition this century. We've just had an election where a whole bunch of people have said that decarbonisation is really important and we've got this available technology today we're not using, which is green gas into the energy system. Here's a ready available source that can provide jobs in regional Queensland and in every regional state that uses a waste product and can ultimately decarbonise our system. So why not now is more the question and why not two years ago? There are many pathways to decarbonisation. And I think the sooner we can get that out there in the public debate and that there's no simple fix to almost any of these solutions, they are complex, they are integrated and many of them are going to take time. And that as part of that, renewable gas has a big future in Australia and indeed is a big opportunity for Australia.